Good morning, it is Lindsay and I'm back with another Artist Alley convention vlog. This time we are going to Colorado for Nondescon, which I'm super excited about because it's my first time going to this convention. I have already dropped off my mom with all of her luggage and I've just parked. I am at the airport, a scene you guys have seen many times before. So we're gonna go meet up with my mom, get checked in, get situated, and then I'll see you guys maybe in Colorado. I like to park directly at the airport and I know this can get really expensive and inaccessible for some people so definitely look into your parking options if you fly to conventions. I fly with a lot of heavy equipment especially these grid walls so parking there makes it really easy for me. So we've just just arrived at the convention center this is the back loading dock so when you come in you walk in through here when you check in then they give us a bag of goodies this is I believe this has our badges in it and then they give us a whole bunch of snacks which I'm so excited for and very thankful for. I don't want to open this because it's like sealed so nicely. So this is our spot. Singles flute. Basically we have a 10 by 10 which they said is the boundaries of our square. Fortunately our neighbors, uh, excuse me, crossing the boundaries but it's okay. Figure it out. This is what it looks like inside of the exhibit hall. There is no pipe and drape offered at this show, so we're gonna go get the rest of our stuff and then get started. We have got the backdrop up. We brought the eight foot one instead of the 10 foot one. I think that was a good idea because I think the 10 foot one would have been too much. <laughs> Even though this is a 10 by 10 space, we have the tablecloths down. We did go to Walmart to buy another table because we only get one table. And then we of course have the grid walls as usual. So next is product and then we'll check back in after. So we're almost done setting up. We just put up the flag. We just have some minor things to put up like signs, but we were told that there's going to be appetizers and an open bar and it's right next to our booth, literally right here. So kind of excited because food and we're hungry, but we must finish setting up first. And yeah, looking pretty good. We did try a new configuration this time. So we have the stickers on this outward uh, corner and then we're using half of the table this way for hats and air fresheners. Car decals are gonna get stuck here, which it looks like, oh, dang it. I had those over there and they fell yeah. and everything else fell. Anyways, keychains, lanyards, crop charms, and yeah. It started, they provided some food for us and it looks so good, oh my God. Mom is gonna get a drink. She's eyeing out an apricot puree drink. Yay! Thank you so much, Nandescon. That's so cool. Pretty much done setting up. All the food was gone in like minutes, so we kind of missed our opportunity. I was only able to get like one thing. But it's looking good. It's looking really good. Mom had some drinks from the open bar. Uh, we're gonna go get dinner, and then we'll see you tomorrow for day one. So this convention is attached to the Gaylord Rockies Resort. Um, there's a convention center, it literally, they're connected. Uh, and I had never done this event before, so I wasn't sure where I should stay and what would be best. So I ended up picking up a room through their hotel block over. Good morning. Today is day one of Nondiscard. It is currently 9.53 a.m. We actually don't have to be at the convention center for a little while. Um, today is kind of a late start day, so it doesn't officially start for attendees till 3. It does open at 2.30 for, uh, I think, it's premium badges or whatever, and staff also. So we have to be show ready by 2.30. Um, but we're really close to the convention center because we're staying at the resort, which is connected to the convention center. So that's kind of fun. This is what it looks like outside. Oh, it's so bright. But that's the convention center over there. And we're staying here at the resort, and it's literally connected to the convention center. Super cool. You can see the airport in the distance. But yeah, so we're gonna take our time getting ready, go get coffee, and then make our way back here and get started with day one. We are currently heading to the convention center. It's like 1:30 something. Um, we're gonna finish getting set up. We still have to put the air fresheners out, and then. We're gonna get ready to start accepting people at 2.30. We walked around the resort a little bit, um, just to like get a lay of the land and see what there is since we'll be here all weekend. It's very, very hot. 
and sunny this weekend in Colorado. So stay hydrated, everybody. Yeah, let's go. So you walk through the lobby from where we are on the south side, and then you can get to the convention center all the way on the other side. So I've never done an event where where I was staying was directly attached to where the event is being held. This was really, really convenient, and I'm low-key a really big fan of this. But you can see here from this walk, there are a few food options for early in the morning. This was mid-afternoon because it was Friday. Um, outside had all of the Itasha, and I believe vendors were out there as well who were affiliated with, I think, the Itasha cars. Um, there were a lot of different halls and rooms. You can see that there was a badge registration, I think, main events hall, there was a cafeteria, and then at the very end is the exhibitor and um, artist alley hall, so you can see here. So when you enter the hall, artist alley are placed on the left side of the room and dealers are on the right side of the room, and we're divided by this makeshift wall, and I say makeshift because when we were moving in on Thursday, there was no wall, and then come Friday, there was a wall. But um, this makes it really easy for attendees to be able to browse everything. And I think with due time, you can actually see everything because it's not that big of a room. It is currently 2.14 p.m. We're gonna be opening at 2.30 for staff and premier badges. So we have everything all set up. Just finished putting up the air freshener and setting up our POS system. Um, and yeah, hopefully I can walk around the artist alley maybe tomorrow morning before we open. Um, just because I know some people are still setting up because the artist got to set up today, which is Friday, but we got to set up yesterday, Thursday. So, yeah, super excited. This will be my first time at NDK, first time in Colorado. So, we'll see how things go. Um, and yeah, here's to a good day one. Right, Mom? Yes. <laughs> Mom is currently organizing the back. We're double checking what our inventory looks like. What we actually did was pack this suitcase a few weeks ago and my mom brought it up here to Colorado um, and we brought everything else with us the other day so don't have too much inventory just because we are flying and I didn't want to ship anything to this convention even though they do have a FedEx shipping center here um, it was just an added expense I did not want to partake in so here's the 10 by 10 we're going with an L instead of our typical U a little bit of a change we do have our double sticker wall it's just on the corner um so hopefully things will be okay because we can't really see it so i'm always scared about theft and i know a lot of people ask me about theft um hoping that it won't be an issue but we'll see how this goes and yeah mom's gonna be on the lookout deterring people I'm looking watching you <laughs> But well, we'll check back in in a few hours. Yes. Currently checking out what kind of snacks we got. The staff here were so gracious to give us a snack bag when we had checked in. Ooh, lots of options. Oh, chocolate brownie. <laughs> yum, yum. It's about one hour in since official opening. I say it's pretty okay. We did get a couple transactions in. A lot of lookers. Um, typical for the first day of the convention, it is Friday. So we close at 8 today. Um, we'll see how the rest of the day goes, especially after like, I say after the 4 or 5 o'clock hour. Oh, it is 4. Maybe after like the 5, 6 o'clock hour, it might pick up a little bit. But hopefully this means that tomorrow will be hella busted. Okay, update for you guys. It is currently 6 o'clock, which means we have two hours into closing. Um, sales aren't looking too great right now. We haven't made table back or a hotel back. I haven't made anything back, really. So, I'm not sure how this rest of the weekend's gonna pan out. It is Friday, so I'm trying to stay optimistic because it is Friday. But, I don't know what that means for Sunday. <laughs> so. This is what it currently looks like in front of our booth, so... So, pretty empty. Um, I'd say it's kind of empty in the entire convention right now, at least for our row. Um, I don't know what it looks like behind us, but yeah, and there's two hours until the end of today, which is day one. It's closing time, or well, it's been closing time, it's past closing time. The exhibit hall has been closed up, but we decided, of course, in a very typical single scoot fashion, I feel like if you have been watching my vlogs, we changed our layout again. 
Um, this happens with like every event because it really depends on the shoppers and you know what the space looks like. So we do have a 10 by 10, but it feels a lot smaller than I think our other 10 by 10s for whatever reason. Yeah, so um, this is what we went with. We moved the grid walls back inside. We did purchase an extra table, so we do have the extra table. We just swapped it from this side to the side. Um, and then we put the overstock hats, or well, just the hats in general over here so that people can just grab them themselves. Hopefully it will promote more hat sales, but we'll see. Also move the bag down here from up here. So hopefully people will be more inclined. And then we move the tote bag from back there to up here, that way people can see it. We'll see how this turns out for tomorrow. What you thinking, Mom? <laughs> It'll work. No thoughts. It'll work. No thoughts. No thoughts. Stomach empty. <laughs> for today's sales, um, it was very lackluster. I believe we did not make back booth or hotel, which um, might give you some indication of how I went. It was very, very slow. I mean, there was people, but it just was not. There, nobody was really shopping. It's a lot of looky loos, and I've never had a Friday this bad. So we'll see what that means for tomorrow, if that means more people are gonna shop tomorrow or not. Um, and yeah, hopefully tomorrow's gonna be better, but again, we'll see. But right now, I don't know if this is a convention I would re will return to, but maybe my thoughts will change by the end of the weekend. So, stay tuned! Shoes, is that not, that doesn't look funny? No, it looks good. Long spots. Yeah, it looks slots. fine. Okay. Hello, it is day two of non Descon. It's bright and early, it's 8.40. We're gonna make our way over to the convention center. Maybe get something to drink and eat on the way there. And yeah, get started. Hopefully today is a lot better. Had some friends tell me last night that Saturday is usually a lot better. But I don't know what that really means. How much better compared to Friday. So we'll see. But here's to Merry Monies. And we'll check back in at the convention center. So we're in the convention center. Um, recap on yesterday. We sold one hat, zero apparel. Um, we did sell a crossbody bag, which I think is still a win. Um, and we sold a couple of car decals and enamel pins, keychains, lanyards, of course. Um, you know, a couple of crock charms and then stickers. Uh, overall, it wasn't too poppin'. Um, and I will say that it was my lowest single day event, I think, ever since I started vending, which I don't know what that says about the event. Um, I actually did better at Eddie Medford than this event um, on both days individually. So hopefully today is a lot better. Air fresheners haven't been going as much as they normally do. Um, so maybe this change of booth layout will entice more people, but who knows, um, it's hard to say. And yeah, that's where we currently are. I don't know if it's maybe just like my offerings because I am in the dealer's hall, which is not unusual for me. Um, I do do the dealer's hall, like for most events, um, but I am surrounded by resellers. Like there's nothing but resellers in this dealer's hall. So I don't know if that's hurting me or what, um, but hopefully today goes a lot better and attendance is a lot higher. There isn't really a line outside, especially for parking. Parking looks pretty empty compared to yesterday. So I don't know if it means everybody's like coming in later. Um, so fingers crossed, we'll check back in once we get started. We're gonna finish getting set up and yeah. So it is 10 o'clock, doors are open. It's 10.08 to be exact. We opened at 9.30 for staff and benefactors and 10 o'clock is for general. Um, it's very quiet. I do hear like voices. Um, and remind you, the hall is not that big. It's like pretty, I'd say it's like medium sized. Let me pull up my map here. So this is the dealer's hall. And then artist alley is on like another side. Um, but there's not that many vendors in total, so. Yeah, it's a pretty, i say it's pretty like medium size ball. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And noticing a few trends so far with the shopping habits here and the way people are looking at things. Um, and it might change what I bring if I do do this event next year. So, progress report. It's been, I think it's been okay. It has been busier than yesterday. 
We're not overwhelmingly busy enough to compensate for how bad yesterday was. So I have a feeling this con is gonna end right around being an okay con, but definitely something that I could have done at home in terms of sales. Um, this is a good opportunity for mom, though. She is learning how to run the POS by herself, so I can go to the bathroom more often. Um, but yeah, just a little status update on the apparel. Color blocks have been going. We only have one large and three smalls left. Um, but we have ample stock of everything else, so maybe we overestimated the anticipation of how apparel would sell here. Um, that's okay. It happens. Um, as for everything else, it's been pretty steady. We aren't. We're only sold out of a car decal. And that's because I only brought like two of them. So that's that. As far as the dealers hall goes in general, it's very reseller heavy. So I'd say like 70 to 80 percent of this hall is just straight up resellers. Um, and there's only a handful of us that are like just individual small brands. So. If you're considering NDK uh, on the exhibitor side. Alright, update guys. It is 6.58. We close at 7 o'clock today, Saturday. So we have two minutes till closing. Uh, everybody's pretty much headed out now. You can see. Pretty, pretty empty. Um, overall, today was not bad. I will say the numbers we did today are what I was expecting we would do yesterday. So, keep that in mind. Um, as far as like how the weekend went, I will say it wasn't bad overall if you make these kind of numbers, whatever. Um, but it just wasn't, it wasn't hitting what I wanted to make. So it's not totally bad, but it's not super amazing. We did sell quite a bit of the color blocks. We only have smalls left, which is great because these are massive to take home. Um, the cute and dangerous haven't been selling too too well which is sad because I really like this one I think it's super cute um, we haven't sold any windbreakers yet which is also sad because I really like this one as well um, maybe tomorrow things will change we have been selling out of hats and we only have two of our reusable bags left which is great I think the new layout really helped because it allowed people to see the bag sort of at the front we also moved the boba long sleeve out there so that people can see it as they're walking by stickers and magnets have been going pretty okay we are sold out of a few magnets um, some stickers are really low so things might change tomorrow but overall it's not a bad place to be we're gonna clean up because it is 6.59 and then I believe we're gonna go to In-N-Out because I'm feeling a burger, you know? Just after you've been doing this for a while, you kind of just wanna, yeah, I want a burger, a nice juicy burger and some fries. So that's what's gonna happen. Tomorrow is Sunday, which means it's the last day. So hopefully tomorrow morning. close to the night we open back tomorrow at 10 um 9 30 for benefactors so yep
like your Nami cosplay, by the way. Okay, so for the three items, it's gonna be twenty-six oh five the card. I do. If it's cash, it's twenty-four dollars. came in which is fine because it happens one super fun thing that i do to my card reader this is like a random tidbit but i added a booty and it says tap and then like where to insert their card so super fun if you guys have a shop far square reader highly recommend doing that so the artist alley is on this side again when you enter in the hall this is the exhibitor and then the artist alley probably walk through tomorrow but for now we must go eat so there's the convention center and they have food trucks lined up all outside. They're there till 10 p.m., which is a really good food option for people if you're going to the con. But we're trying to figure out if we're going to be able to find parking here after going to get dinner. That's the real question. Good morning. Today is day three of NDK. It's the last day, which means it's a short day. Today's hours are 10 to 4. Um, after 4, we're going to clean up. And then that's pretty much it for the convention. Nice and easy. I will say, this convention, unlike other conventions, does have two short days. Um, instead of like two full selling days and one short day. Because Friday was a short day. It was only five hours. Yesterday was the only full day. Which was like eight, nine hours. Seven, yeah. And then today is another short day, which is another five hours. So don't have high expectations for today just based on how friday went but we'll see because it is a sunday so there might be more sunday only badges but hard to tell we are running low stock on a few things so that's good but also bad because it's like more of the popular things hopefully people will pick up some of the non-popular things i do have this pimple that decided it wanted to make an appearance so that's that um and yeah, should be nice, quick and easy cleanup. Try to condense some things. But let's go. <laughs> Walking over to the exhibit hall. It is very quiet. We're trying to plan out our uh, what we're gonna do when we need to un uh, load up and move out. Because we parked in the hotel side. But it's a very quiet Sunday. Hopefully it does still mean there'll be a decent sales. We got our Starbucks this morning in the hotel lobby. They did make our drinks wrong. This is not what I ordered, but it's okay. I will drink it. That is not the size that she ordered, but it's okay. We paid for it. <laughs> it is what it is. so green good. Over here is the cafeteria, so they have food options in here. And then again, the exhibit hall is at the very, very end of the convention center. It is currently 9.27. We're opening for soft opening in three minutes, which is for staff and like benefactors to shop. Um, it's usually not very crowded in like that first half hour. And so, yeah, but something to keep in mind, even though the show hours say 10, that's for like attendees. We have to be show ready technically by 9.30, but not everybody is here. There's still a lot of vendors who don't trickle in until closer to 10. Um, so just something to consider if you're planning on vending here. 
we are. It's three o'clock. It is pouring. Oh, thunderstorm! We're almost done for the day. We literally have one more hour of selling and it's like dumping rain, which is great for us. I mean, we are staying next door, but mom has to walk through the parking lot to go get the car. <laughs> Um, progress report, we only have one small left of the color block, which is great. Um, knife jackets, I think we have three left. One small, one XL, one two XL, which I think is also great. It got like a lot louder and I have a feeling it's the rain. Um, as far as everything else goes, it's been pretty good. We only have one butt bag left, which is amazing. We have two cross bodies left have been going which is great so we're definitely going back home lighter overall today was a lot better than friday which i guess is kind of to be expected for a three-day con usually friday is like okay sunday is a little bit better than friday but not as good as saturday so continuing with the same trend um but we did hit sort of a minimum goal for this weekend or adjust the goal after how friday went so that's good um would i come back i don't know maybe I feel like if I got an artist alley, double table or something like that, I would consider coming back. I don't know if I would come back and do a full 10 by 10. Um, the people here are really nice. And you know, I got to meet like a new community, which is great. Somebody from YouTube who watches my YouTube videos came up, which is amazing. Thank you so much for coming to say hi. One minute left, and we're done here. Everybody's packing up. Everybody's ready to go home. But us, sell to the last minute. I personally don't like to pack up early just because some people might be coming and shopping and like there's still people in here and I will take customers till the very end. So that's that. Okay. <laughs> oh, charity. I'm hungry. We're gonna pack up and call it good. Thank you so much if you came by my shop this weekend at NDK. And I'll see you guys later. Pretty much all packed up. I think we were successful in being able to condense everything. This is what it looks like. Everybody's pretty much packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Oh, here's a mess. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!